Hello everyone. In today I am going to give you a, a few concepts about joining condition in SQL. So I'll be using Oracle 11G, uh, sorry Oracle 12C, and I'll show you some example so to clear out the concept of the join. Okay, so basically, what, however, uh, whatever skill we write, uh, maximum times in, it happens that we don't exactly have understand that how to use these joins. Okay, so why, how exactly the join works? So this is a basic, uh, as you can see here, this is a basic uh, diagrams we learn from our college time also that uh, this is the way the join work, join works. Okay, uh, in a form of Venn diagram. So this is the left join where you you have the this colored section of the both the intersection part and the left side. So this is the left table and the right table. This one is not included. The right join, you know that this one is not included, but here we have this part, this part, which is that all records of the right table and the records which is common with the left table. Okay, so this is the inner join where we only have the common um, common records between the left table and right table. And this is irrespective, this is the full outer join which is irrespective of uh, whatever the condition is. Uh, it is so some kind of you can say cross join. Okay, so we will start with a few examples. So I have here using PL school developer and we will be using two tables. First, let me show you the data. You have to understand the data. MPID name ID from employee master and select basic code. Basic name. Sorry. Basic ID from from designation master. So first, let us run this. So we will just uh, try to find find out what I am trying to say. First, I will show you. I'll start with the left outer join. Okay, so left outer join exactly what will happen that uh, when we join this two table with left outer join. So we will get all the employee ID, employee name, and designation ID from employee master. We will get designation code, designation name from designation master. Okay, which is in employee master. But it, uh, but what will happen? The those uh, field in employee master where designation ID or designation ID is null. So basically, when we are doing a normal joining condition with where clause, when we use the where clause, okay, let me show you like this. Suppose we write select import int name basic code basic name from employee master. Designation master, where? Okay, let us give some alias here. B dot desig ID, A dot desig ID. Okay, so when we do this, it is actually doing an inner join. This is basically an inner join. Okay. But okay, so see here I give see all design IDs are here. Okay.
Okay, so you can see in designation master, these are here. But here we will first do one thing. We will find out whether there is any column where desig ID is null. Where desig ID is null. <coughs> okay, today what I am going to, uh, I mean, make uh, what I am going to show you that what is the actual benefit of using outer join ok or using join basically left outer join and right outer join inner join as we know it is same as we are using this where clause ok this one ok so I can prove this to you like uh, if I use this like this if I run this and if I give a condition like and say employee master a a dot basic id is null so what will happen this is basically means inner join no record will come ok because it is an inner join so here what we are, to, what we are going to do let us delete this we will first start with outer join. Outer join means if you consider this left side as employee master and right side as the designation master. So we will take all the desig ID of employee master. Okay. And desig ID matching the desig ID of uh, designation master. Okay. We will take all those records. But what will happen for this part? You see, I am just talking about this part, this part, so which is not matching with the designation master. For inner join, this part will not come. Okay, for left outer join, this part will come. Okay, so let us start here for writing. Select in quote in name desic code desig name from employee master a <coughs> designation master b sorry 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 I'm again doing an inner join net outer join B dot desig ID, A dot desig ID. Okay, so if you run this, you cannot understand anything. I have to again go through everything. I have to go through all records here, and you have to find out for non-matching. So it's not possible. So what will, how can we see this? If we write where we given word clause, just to understand okay, but, uh, what is the record here, and what is exactly happening? Where uh, say a dot um, desig ID is null. Now if we run this, you can see. Records are not removed, okay, records are not removed, record is there, but only this two field is coming null, okay, so by this what, if we prepare a report like this, what can you can prove that the designation for this employee is not there, okay, it is not, the information not present, but if you put an image join, you cannot find out that this, this employees have no designation. Okay, this uh, okay because this records will not show. Suppose if you put join or inner join, both are same, like this. And if you run this, what will happen? 
nothing will come okay so uh, it left out at join what will happen it is showing all the record uh, let us remove this one we just run exclude the null here okay so best thing is what we will do we will export this and we check it in microsoft excel say output and we go to microsoft excel open this in microsoft excel and we create a filter here Just go here. Uh, okay, first remove all this <coughs> blank. So you can see there are non-blank, there are blank. The non-blank means these have basic ID, these have designation ID, and uh, blank means these don't have designation ID. But still, we are including this record. So this is the advantage of using left out or join you get all the records of the employees which does not have designation and which have you can show their designation code and show their values from the master table okay so now what we do we will go to right out to join just a so right out of join so what will happen in right out of join uh, in this case what we are showing in this case if there is any designation id which is not present in employee master okay exactly uh, no uh, i mean designation id which is not present in designation master okay so we will just place it right out of join I think this is not a uh, feasible, uh, I don't think it will, uh, yeah, there are something like this, just a moment. Yeah, they, I, as I told you, there are designation master, designation ID is not present in designation master. So this is not possible because it is a uh, well designed table set, okay, where there is a reference of designation ID in this employee master. Okay, so you will not find something. So in this case, what, what happens? You get all the non-blank <coughs> because every designation ID is there. The designation ID is also present in designation master. So every field is non-blank. Okay. So what we will do? We will just reverse this. Like we take uh, this one and put it here. And take employee master and put it here. Now what will happen? You will get the same set of result. See, you are getting blank. Okay, I just reversed it. So now if you use, use the null here, you will get it. So what is happening, just go to the figure again. What is happening here? This is the right of John. so this is the employee master here and this is the designation master so we have all the employee with designation id and okay with the designation id and designation id matching with the designation master and this is the part which is not matching maybe okay because this is the smaller part don't get confused by this diagram because this is a smaller part and matching part is bigger in this case okay so in a, there are some some case where matching part is less okay so we, we can also show that kind of thing 